and I wanted to do a what's in your purse video today. I've seen a lot of others from other people. I just always think they're interesting so I wanted to do one today. This is my purse. I honestly don't even know. Let's see what brand is it? I got it from Dillard's. It's a Kate Landry bag. It's pretty big. It has a zipper on the front two pockets inside and it has a longer chain that you can carry it on your shoulder and this part has uh, metal on it kind of gives it a little bit of edge it has this chain and so that's the bag first off and let's see the first thing we come across is my phone have to have that um, it's a LG Voyager I know it's like a year and a half old now but works well for me and I like it in this main compartment. The next thing is my wallet. It's just one of those ones that you push to open. It's a mess and it's like so packed it's about to explode right now so I should probably go through that. So this is my wallet and I've got a lot of credit cards, receipts, discount cards, and no cash. I only have credit cards so yeah that's what I have there. The next thing is this sunglasses case and here are my sunglasses. I'm wearing right now. I got these at Target for like $16.99 and I'm digging them. I usually always um, break my sunglasses and misplace them and all kinds of stuff so this summer I've been trying really hard to keep them nice so I've been keeping this big case in my purse. It's a hard nice red case to keep my sunglasses nice. The next thing in the main compartment is this. And this is a little makeup bag I got from Target, and I use this to hold medicines. And let's see what we have in here. First I have a little thing of Tums smoothies. I have a really sensitive stomach, and I get really nervous before tests and throw up and have diarrhea and stuff. I know it's gross, but I'm a bundle of nerves, so I have to have this little thing of Tums. Um, I also have thing of off-brand Excedrin. It's just the Excedrin. It has caffeine and Tylenol in it and I think it works the best for getting rid of headaches for me. The next thing I have are these. They're called Dairy Relief Caplets because I'm lactose intolerant also. So you take these at the same time you start eating a dairy product to keep yourself from having nasty symptoms later and that's been working out pretty well. Then I have my emergency rescue inhaler because I have asthma. You're learning pretty quickly that I'm not very healthy. Um, the next thing I have is birth control pills because I'm in school and I don't want to have a baby so there's the birth control pills. And the last thing I have some sort of allergy pills. These are Sudafed sinus and allergy because I have a lot of environmental allergies. And then I've got a little mechanical pencil in here I don't know why it's in with the medicine, but there it is, a mechanical pencil. So that's all the drugs I have in this first inside pocket. This purse has an inside pocket on both sides. I'm going to go through this one first. In this inside pocket, I keep lip glosses. Let's see what I have. I have my MAC Creme de Nude. I always like to wear that with a smoky eye. Very light nude. I have my NYC Cappuccino. It is a good cheap $1.82 nude color. And there's that color. I have my cheap NYC Au Naturel. It's just a little bit deeper nude color than the Cappuccino. I have my Rimmel birthday suit. It's also a nude but it's very warm and peachy so it's different. I swear they're all different even though everything I've showed you is nude so far. I have my Dior Beige Elixir lip gloss. That's the color of that. And I have my Bonnie Bell Lip Lights Cappuccino. Very nude, cold, neutral. And I have my Starry Sweet Almond Oil Lip Treatment from CherryCulture.com. And this is just like what I use for chapstick. I like 
things more glossy than chapstick, but this is what I use um, for that. And I usually have my little strawberry roller ball lip gloss in there, but I think it's out somewhere else. So that's all the lip glosses that I have. In the other pocket, I have a powder for touch-ups. Um, it's the Revlon Color Stay powder in medium. That's what it looks like. This is not my favorite powder. Um, it's just what I carry with me if I want to powder a shiny area while I'm at school or out doing something. And I carry this um, e.l.f. Total Face Brush with me as well. And I don't really like this brush. It's kind of scratchy. But this is just my emergency touch up on the go. I really prefer this brush from e.l.f is the complexion brush. This is the total face brush. This is three dollars. This is one dollar. And the one dollar really sucks. It's scratchy on my face, but it's what I have right now for my purse that I don't mind if it gets thrown around in the purse. So, yeah. Then I have this hand lotion. It's called Look Ma New Hands. It's from the True Blue Spa line at um, Bath and Body Works. It's twelve dollars. And it smells so good. It smells like pure oranges. It's awesome. Then I also have a couple of ponytail holders in here because you never know when you might need those with all this hair. And another ponytail holder. A bunch of loose change. <laughs> and I have a nitrile exam glove uh, because I'm in veterinary school. I haven't cleaned my purse since then and um, you probably don't want to know what I do after I put these on. So We'll just leave it at that. And in the bottom of my purse, I have a bottle of these um, Hoodia diet pills. I haven't taken many lately, but during the school year, um, when I was trying to lose some weight and when I'm in class all day, if I get hungry, you take two of these um, and it kind of curbs your appetite for a while. So I'm not really going to recommend them because I don't know how safe they are, but they seem to work for me to suppress hunger and I've kind of tried every crazy diet pill there is at one point or another. So it looks like that's all and I also usually have my camera in my purse but it's not there now because it's right there recording me. So this is my what's in your purse video and I hope that lots of people will do this too if you haven't already. I know most people have already done this video already but if you haven't, I would love it if you would post it as a video response below so I can watch it because I'm really nosy and I would love to see what's in your purse. So I will see you soon. Thanks for watching.